Hello everyone, so this video is going to be a short one. I wanted to address fall damage as this is something that I see being mentioned quite often and it's actually a lot easier than you might think. I was looking in the wrong place myself as well. Before we start I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. This scene will be made available on Patreon. So here we are in our scene and I'm going to keep this rather simple. So this can be done for pretty much any character you could possibly have. Um, it won't conflict most likely with anything you've set up thus far. Um, unless you already attempted something like fall damage before of course. Um, but I doubt that otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. So first things first we're going to add two things to our player. So we're going to add some stats. And if you already have an existing character, most likely you already have those. Um, next up, we're going to add a trigger. And this trigger is going to be a on land trigger. There we go. And as you can see, here we have the option to store vertical speed. Now, I want to highlight as well, this, this, this trigger doesn't have to be on the player. You could, you know, make it a... Uh, a child for example if you want to keep this a bit cleaner um, but basically what we need is on land for the player and we need to store this variable somewhere so what we're going to do is we're going to open our preferences and we're going to create a new variable so fall speed let's drop in a number here and we'll open this up again in a bit so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a cube um, let's uh, oh, let's put this all on zero, and I'm going to make this uh, two wide and ten high. So it's a bit high, but you know. And basically, ten is uh, ten meters. I have no clue what that is in feet, but it's uh, it's ten meters. <laughs> so uh, ten meters is pretty high, obviously. Um, so you'd assume a bit of uh, fall damage depending on the type of game you are creating. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to store the vertical speed in fall speed and we're going to create some conditions. Now these conditions will be re uh, reliant on the on that number so variable uh, variable number and we're going to pick our fall speed one and I'm not going to fill anything in yet because we still need to see um, you know how fast are we actually dropping from this high for example and next up we're going to create some actions change attributes health um, subtract and then we're going to do I don't know 10 whatever so doesn't really you know whatever you want it to be um, I'll go over how to add multiple gradations as well for, you know, if it's even higher, etc, etc. So first things first, we are going to hit play here. And I know this is going to be a bit small. It's because I use a um, different scaling for my windows. And I'm going to open up these preferences. And what we're going to do is let's make this a bit smaller. I am... Uh, I'm going to drop down and this as you can see this is the fall speed we have so minus 17.16 something like that so what we can do here now is um, less or equal because these are minus values less or equal 15 will do 10 damage and that's it so now I'm going to hit play We're going to open up our character here so we can actually see. And then, yep, there we go, fall damage. Now if you want this to have some UI effect as well with some blood or whatever um, on screen, um, simply just add them here to the actions. and That's pretty much it. Now what if you want to have multiple gradations? So let's say um, this is actually going to be 20 high, for example. Um, and let's actually make this 30 high so we can try it all out and I'm going to duplicate this one make it a bit bigger 
so 4 by 4, and this is going to be um, 20 high. So we have our, you know, fall damage from about 10 meters high, 20 meters high, and we can also jump off straight away from 30, um, which I think should result in death most likely. It's, you know, 30 meters. Um, I'm not sure that would even care. I have no idea, really. Um, okay, so we're going to drop that player a bit higher. Um, let's hit play and we're actually going to record the speed so we need to be you know test um, how far this actually is so preferences let's keep this open and we're going to drop straight off and our fall speed is minus 26 now that's going to be easy so we'll just do um, lesser than minus 25 and we'll hit play again for that uh, 20 meters um, just to see what the effect is. So this was the 10 meters again, minus 17 and minus 22 for 20 meters. So that's all perfect. Um, that will be uh, a really easy gradation. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm uh, going to create a new set of actions we'll do call conditions and we're going to duplicate this twa three times in total so we have three in total so um, less or equal um, to 20 what was it 25 so that's the first one um, if it doesn't hit this condition, so let's do this one. So we'll do, just do uh, a ragdoll straight away here. So that's it. It's the end for the player. This will be minus 20 and we'll do, I don't know, uh, 50 fall damage. I mean, it's exaggerated, but it doesn't really matter. And we'll do uh, minus 15 here and that's, that will be... Um, I don't know, 25, just so we can actually try it all out. Now what we need to do is we need to drag in these conditions. And the important part, um, I'm doing this wrong. So conditions one, conditions two. And here we have absolutely nothing. So basically, um, you know, if we're falling uh, less fast than that, so a lower um, height. Um, absolutely nothing will happen we won't take any damage and nothing should really happen so perfect so uh, let's give this a go and see if this all works so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the player again now this first one is 10 meters so we should be taking 25 damage if I did it correctly which is correct and now we should be taking 50 damage and it's still 25 that is interesting um, 22 I might have messed up the numbers a bit there so um, ragdoll Yeah, this should have been 20. Apologies for that, and that should have been 15. Okay, I uh, I messed up the numbers, so let's do this again. Um, and let's do it better this time. So now it should all be working. So we lost 25, and now we lost 50 because this is higher and if we jump straight off from the highest point which is 30 meters we're just ragdolling straight away because that's too high 30 meters you can't survive that and that's it really that's literally all you have to do for fall damage 
Now, this might sound easy. I was looking in the wrong place as well. I was looking at conditions for speed, for in air, etc. Turns out the on land trigger just basically has everything in house to be able to do this. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.